YouTube, what up? Welcome to the X01 workshop. I have a quick little update for you. Got a few things in the mail. Um, since the last time we've been out, um, this body right here is for the slash and I didn't secure the sides right. I'm not sure if I'm still going to use this body because it's still good. But anyway, the uh, <laughs> side of the body flared out like wings and the car took off. It did it twice. So once again, um, the slash is down. Actually, I fixed what was broken. Um, I got the XO one drive shafts on it and uh, they apparently there's a little um, there's like a little pin inside there that holds it together. I guess when the wheels came off the ground, it spent it real fast and they wound up coming out. But none of them are bent or damaged. I just had to put new pins in it, pull the boots back. Um, we got a package today from Mr. Steve Thompson. And I ain't going to lie, I, I did glance in that box, so I pretty much know what's in there, but I don't know exactly what it is. I do know that it's got some nice paint on it, so we're going to get into that a little bit later. Um, I have another package. This is from, and I didn't properly do it the first time, but I'll make sure I make up for it this time. These are, we bought a crap load of them too. These are the cut down BSR um black double pink foam and um hold on let me just take one out for you right quick um I think I'm gonna run with these got pretty good results with it these are the uh the black foam double pink um nice tire I had them cut down by uh Michael's RC hobby uh he's out of Florida um, once again, in the case for you people who didn't see the other video that I made, we had these cut down and I have a ton of them left over that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I don't think I'm going to use them. I got some new, um, these are the SP40, um, got a crap load of them. Uh, some of them are brand new. I haven't used them yet. I guess I'll probably put them on standby if I get desperate and need a tire. I can use them, but I uh, see this one. Yeah, this is this is one that this is one that hasn't been used. So what we did was um I gave him the measurements of this tire because the size of it is great. Like I said, it is a good tire, but somehow we're having problems with this plastic here cracking. Um, apparently uh, my buddy Steve had the same thing happen to him, and my other buddy, um, Kevin, had the same thing happen to him, so I don't know what's going on with these wheels. But one thing I do know, we can't be the only one that's having problems with these, unless people actually think their car is coming off the ground, and that's the reason why they're broke. But the footage that we have, um, the car is definitely not coming off the ground. You can see pieces of it breaking off, and then um, a disaster happens. So what we did is, um, I remember using these BSR tires I mean, they don't look as they don't look as great, but they do do the job. And getting them in black somehow, black always looks better. But um, so we gave them the measurements. Um, I think they are a little bit wider, but they are exactly the same height. And if you put them side by side, you'll see. This one looks like, I think that's a used tire, but pretty much they are exactly the same height. So this is the cut down version of the BSR tire. And I'm gonna get you one that's not cut. If I can look in here. Here's a BSR five black spoke. Uh, was it one, two, three, six spoke. And this is the height of what it would be not cut down. You talking to me? Um, doesn't matter. I'll be up there in a few. Okay, so you can see the difference in the height of the regular BSR tire. And uh, like I said, we had it cut down to be the size of the SP40. And the tire is definitely holding up pretty good. It being a low profile tire, it's holding up great. Um, we are not getting any cracks in the hub. We're not having any problems with it. Um, what would make sense to me is the fact that it doesn't have any holes in it. It's not a spoke wheel, so 
it, it would it'll appear to be stronger. But nevertheless, uh, the tire situation is over for us. We don't have to worry about the inside hub. Like I have an arrow going to this one. There's cracks in it. I don't even know how these cracks are getting in these in these tires. But you know, people are not. They're saying they're not having any problems, but a lot of people are using them and maybe people are having problems, but they're not posting it. So who knows if it works for you? So be it, you know, me personally, I'm, I'm tired of rebuilding my cars. You know, uh, it's just a waste of money when it comes down to a, a, a tire rim cracking and the tire disintegrating and the car flips up in the air. So, you know, if it's going to happen, I'd rather it be by something that I did to make it crash, not by a tire. So we have solved this problem so we have um, so i got one two three about four packs of black and uh mike wanted me to buy some of the whites because he ordered so many of them he also has uh different compounds too he's got the orange compound and uh some other compounds um so i bought four of the of the whites I don't care really what color they are, as long as the tires work, it's good for me, I can use it. Okay, we got that. I got a new body coming in, and uh, this paint, I, I figured I'd try it out. When I first sprayed it out, it sprayed out a little funny, but once you get it going, it's a really awesome paint to use. Um, this right here is Fireball Orange. It's a fluorescent aerosol, so I'm curious to see how that's going to be. I'm waiting for the body to come in from Delta Plastic. So we got that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the card. This is the guy you can go on his website and you will see the uh, low profile cut down version of the BSR tire. Um, he does have this tire and different, uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh man, I forgot the word I was going to say. Um, whatever. He has it in a. Uh, Different compounds, I'm sorry. So you can go on his website and uh, you'll be able to see whichever one works for you, harder or soft, or whatever the case may be. Really nice guy. Um, you can give him a call, talk to him if you have any questions, you want to know something. Um, like I said, give him a call and uh, he'll hook you up. Great guy. Um, also, give a thanks to John BSR for working with him and us uh, to keep us yeah. from having to buy in bulk. Um, they worked out a situation and we were able to be able to buy these uh, as less as we want or as many as we want. So I appreciate you guys coming to some type of agreement, whereas though we didn't have to spin out the $1,800 that was said I had to spin at first to be able to get the bulk of tires cut down. So once again, shout out goes out to Michael RC Hobbies and thank you, John BSR, for working with me. All right, so that's that. And let's get to this thing right here. Now, this brother Steve has been coming up in the ranks. Uh, the last time he was out here, he killed it with a surprisingly 135 mile an hour speed run out of nowhere. So I'm going to have to watch out for him. You know, very impressed, very happy for him. And <laughs> I will lie, dog. This, this, now this thing right here is nice. This is nice. This this type of paint job makes you not want to even run your car. You know, crashes are inevitable. But this is awesome. Get on out of there. Don't eat. Alright, let me uh, let me get this thing turn around. Oh, look at this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me this is not an awesome paint job. This is an awesome paint job. I'm gonna this. I'm gonna show you this paint job. I'm gonna show you the crappy paint job I did. I'm not really into um, you know detailed design because my cars crash up so much. It's like you can't even really appreciate the artwork. But this thing, look at the the tones and the paint going from light to dark. Three tones to very dark in the back. Got the metallic. Awesome paint job. Awesome paint job. Steve Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. Now this is the Toyota 172 body. Two millimeter. And it's the 
same as this. Doesn't look as good, but it does the job. Awesome paint job. I guess we're gonna have to cut the back out, of course. But um, yeah, man, awesome paint job, Steve. I'll be giving you a call soon. I'll talk to you about this. Um, sometime next week, we ordered ourselves the speed trap finally, so we don't have to worry about using the Garmin GPSs. Um, I, I think my buddy Kev still wants to put one in his car, but you know, to each his own. I'm not wasting my time doing it. We'll put them aside. If I ever need one, I'll be able to have it. But when that comes in, I will show you guys what comes in that box. And um, hopefully I can get it working good. Whereas I can show you how to work it if you want to purchase one. Um, the total price for shipping for it comes at, they have it priced on the website for $650. But with shipping, it'll come to $670. Um, they send it out UPS and it, like I said, it, it comes in about maybe a week's time, a little less than a week. So it doesn't really take that long. All right. When the slash flipped up in the air for the second time, like a bird, it flew. Um, the back tower shock mount broke. So it kind of went, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of flipped up sideways on me a little bit. So um, I ordered some RPM ones. I don't, I don't want to get... Uh, aluminum ones. I want to keep everything plastic, but this is a, a little harder. Uh, this plastic is a little durable, a little stronger. So I figured I'll replace the front and the back with the uh, RPMs. This is the front, still waiting for the back. I don't know when that's coming in. Um, like I said, I put the drive shafts back together. It's a little pin that goes inside of that boot, about right up in here. And this rubber boot actually holds that pin from coming out. So all of them came out, but this one right here. But uh, the two fronts came out and driver side back came out. So put them back together, lube them up real nice. Um, this motor in here is the replacement motor. I had the 2310 um, CM motor in and I replaced it with the 22 KV motor. Still haven't gotten it up to the top speed yet, but I'm optimistic about it. I think the next time I go out, everything will be good. I also ordered a new body for it. And the body I'm going to put on it is the Lola, I forgot the name of this body, it's the Lola something uh, for Delta Plastic. So I ordered another one of those because this body actually performed very well on top of the uh, uh, the Armor Typhon. The Armor Typhon had a sweet run uh, last week, it did 138, that was the first time, actually it broke its record. The fastest speed it did before that was 135. So it's at 138 now, and it is running neck and neck with the Vorza GT at 138. So we'll see which one of those two cars pull ahead. Uh, yeah, so the body performed very well, so I ordered another body. Uh, when it comes in, I'll get it painted up and uh, do another update about that. Um, until then, Val will talk to you later. I'll see you the next time, and that will be when the speed track comes in. So you guys have a good afternoon. Uh, appreciate all my subscribers. Peace out.